A's time in Oakland nearing its end. Tonight is the first game of the A's final home series at the Coliseum. They're playing against the Texas Rangers. We saw a lot of loyal fans showing up today, going through security, perhaps for the last time at the Coliseum, marking an end of an era for a team that was rooted in Oakland for almost six decades. The A's were the last remaining professional sports team in the town. They shared the Coliseum site with the Raiders, as well as the Warriors, who left the arena five years ago to move across the bay. So what will happen with the Coliseum complex when the A's leave? Wilson Walker talked with the new owners. He joins us live from Oakland with that part of the story. Good evening, Wilson. Good evening, Juliet. Let's start with the stadium, right? This building as everyone knows, <clears throat> has pretty much ended, reached the end of its usefulness for, for prof professional sports. The Roots will be here next year. That's a good thing. There could be some intermittent events, uh, but as the, as the new owner puts it, there needs to be a conversation about what happens to the stadium. The arena, however, different story. You know, if you had a, a vehicle and it reached 60, if you took care of it and it was pristine and it would become a classic, you know, and so that's the arena. The arena As the head of the group that now owns the Coliseum site, Ray Bobbitt really says his vintage 1966 arena will now be the centerpiece of whatever comes next here. In, in every iteration of this site, the arena stays and is a focal point of any first phase development. In fact, the arena has done quite well in the Warriors absence. Bobbitt calls it a perfect mix of a classic room at just the right scale in a great location. The intersection of that much transportation is very unusual. And I think people just love watching shows here because it's easy to get to, but also this the experience of this place as an institution at this point. Um, it's very comparable to maybe the forum in Los Angeles. Um, it's just one of those venues that's sort of timeless. If you look quickly as you drive by it, it almost looks like the Roman Colosseum. So fans mourning the departure of the A's can take some solace. One half of the Colosseum is going to stay, and the new owners have big plans for it. So we're really excited to sort of project that to the public and just make sure that they know that as we sort of close these chapters within the stadium, we open these new chapters with the foundation of the arena. Yeah, if you've been to the Forum, uh, you know that's just sort of like a, a world-class concert venue now. It gets a ton of acts. You know, not everything's going to be at the Chase Center. This place is booked, you know, pretty solid since the departure of the Warriors. Uh, so this obviously really is something you can anchor a development to. The stadium, however, probably a different story and not long for this location. But, you know, the timing on all of that, who knows, Juliet? Uh, you know, a, a ton of sort of questions about timing and what happens out here. Uh, but, you know, just a, an interesting atmosphere. I was out here Saturday night for the Yankees game. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Somewhere between, a, you know, a sporting event and, a, and sort of a solemn concert vibe as people come out to kind of have a good time one last time. Goodbyes are hard and a lot of memories and history. All right, Wilson, thank you. And the A's do have one more night game tomorrow. Then they'll play their last game ever at the Coliseum Thursday. First pitch at 1237. It's a day game.